hello, I'm Janelle and welcome to my channel, lover of all things easy peasy, keto and low carb. But today we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna uh, share how I do my easy beachy waves and how you take your hair from this uh, dirty mop top to super, super beautiful, wavy, beachy, amazing mix. Uh, don't forget to follow and subscribe and ring that bell. Let's get into it. If you already know me or if we are just meeting, I am all things simple, quick, and easy. I have two very small daughters, one and four. I am a mom, wife, nurse, so it's gotta be quick and easy. So my hair has been up in a bun for a few days. Let's transform that. So let's see. I really don't use a lot of product on my hair. Yes, it is a little bit greasy right now, but that's all good. We're gonna use some dry shampoo. This is not the best, don't come at me. This is what I'm gonna use. Yes, I found it at Ross for, I don't know, a few bucks. That's what we're gonna do. It smells really good. So I just like to, I, I cover my face, spray it a little, and I rub it in with my hands. Y'all don't worry, trust me, I'm, I promise you, this is all gonna work out. It's gonna look good. Okay, I know it comes out a little white at first. <laughs> Don't be scared. Okay, what brand is this? Batiste, I never know how to say that. Is it Batiste? transformation okay so now that we have all the dry shampoo in there I get my trusty wet brush and just kind of brush that through so I always air dry my hair I don't even own a blow dryer so I always let it air dry I think you get the most beautiful volume and the less heat on your hair the better I wash my hair once a week usually style it about once a week and then I kind of just let those curls do their thing. Now, I use, you guys, trust me when I say that I'm all things easy peasy. I found this at Burlington on clearance probably and I love it. It is the Infinity Pro Conair. Maybe you can find it at Target or Walmart. I don't know, I love it. <laughs> I've had it for years. It does have heat settings. I put it up to the highest, cause like, hey, like, let's do this, you know, like, let's curl this hair. Um, yeah. It's like a one inch. I like to use a smaller one. And I always, I section my hair, so I have a lot of layers. And I have like really thick hair, so I section, I do three sections, so one, two, and then three. twist that up and put it in a little clippy and then I do two sections here and then we'll get to it but first some iced coffee <sighs> okay so always hold your curling iron up and down I start about a quarter down the hair and then pull and curl, pull and curl. And then you can leave the bottom out because you're just gonna straighten it. So I do a section and then straighten the bottom. So let's just do that. So I start about a quarter down the hair, curl, pull down again, roll again. And you, like I said, you can put the end in or not, whatever you want. I kind of like to do it sometimes because I feel like it straightens it because my hair, because I don't like blow dry my hair. So let's just let these chill. So 
So I know that my hair looks messy, but trust me, it all comes together. I have not owned a blow dryer in years. I remember, okay, so we were over here going to like a friend's baby shower or something. It was some kind of event. And um, my friend had gotten ready here and she was like, okay, I'm gonna go. I don't know, she took a shower or something here. And she was like, hey, okay, Janelle, um, can I borrow your, your blow dryer? And I was like, I don't have one. And she's like, what do you mean you don't have one? I'm like, I seriously don't have one. And she, she had to like, I forget if she would have bought one. I don't even know. But like, she used a blow dryer, you know? I seriously haven't, I don't even own one. First of all, I think they're so bad for your hair. And I love the volume that I get when you air dry. It looks crazy, like this looks like a mess. Believe me, I know. But look what it turns into. You're gonna put heat on it with your iron, so I don't see why, you know? Just my opinion. <laughs> okay, and then this is when I go and curl it, or straighten the ends. So I just take like the last two inches. And straighten them. I think it gives it a really pretty look. And that's where you're gonna get that like beachy look. And again, to be totally honest, I, you could use a straightener to do the end, but like I'm hot, like I said, I'm a mom, nurse, what? Like I got stuff to do. I got time for like two tools, you know? Uh -uh. Just use one tool, <laughs> wham, bam. And I always curl away from my face. Over here. Oh my god, you guys when one of them gets like stuck in there. So you can do these as tight, like as thick sections as you want. The thicker the section, the less curl you're gonna have. So like it's gonna be more of a looser curl. So it depends on what vibe I'm looking for. You know, I'll grab really tiny sections that it's gonna give you more like that ringlet curly look, or thicker sections is gonna give you more of like that loose beachy look. So it's really whatever you want for that day. I do both for, you know, for separate occasions. And then again, I just separate it in half. And like I said, I have a lot of layers, guys. So, yeah, I gotta like make sure I, Make sure I'm not recurling the ones I've already curled. So again, I just started about a quarter down the hair and then curl and drag out, curl and drag out, and then curl and drag yeah, out until you get all the way to the end. I always keep keep your curling iron up and down. Is that vertical? You guys, you know when you were in school and you learned like horizontal and vertical? Why can't I remember that? I know horizontal is like a horizon, but I can't remember. <laughs> so I straighten just a tiny bit because these ones right around my face get a little like flyaway-ish. So I like to use my curling iron like a straightener also. Cause again, I'm busy. I like a lot of bang for my buck. I don't want to be using two tools. I'm not getting out two tools. Straighten the ends. Did I already do this one guys? Okay, and then just, I open my curling iron just a little bit and slide it down and curl up again. So I open and slide and then twist. Open, slide, twist. Open, slide, twist. So if you're grabbing a smaller section of the hair, move quicker. You don't wanna like fry that hair. Um, what's happening here, guys? I feel like I already curled this piece. Okay, so if you want to straighten like around the front, you just slide really quick like that. Let's do this piece again. But 
see how, okay, this piece, this is a perfect example. This is like a super tiny piece, so move fast. Yeah, see how curly it'll get? It's pretty in the end. Okay, on to the next section. I part my hair kind of in different areas, but let's see, sometimes the middle, sometimes the side-ish, whatever. Kind of wherever it, it dried is where it's like gonna want to, which I'm fine with. I'm not like super particular about where I part my hair. Okay, and then the front here, I like to straighten just that little piece right there because I like it to kind of fold forward and move quickly on these pieces because they're a lot thinner than the rest of your hair. It's a smaller section. And then I still straighten the ends. This, these are like the really piece, the pieces that are gonna give you like lots of texture. See how like pretty that is? See you guys, I told you just trust me. I know I looked really scary in the beginning, but gotta trust the process, you know? Right in the ends. You guys, this is like a really, I promise you, this isn't hard or fancy. I'm not a hairdresser. I promise you this is like one tool from Burlington or DJ Maxx. Or, no, this one was from Burlington. Like one tool, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't need a lot of product. Like, you guys, how beautiful is that? Like, so easy. And that took me 15 minutes straight real time with talking, with explaining, with teaching. It doesn't have to be hard, guys, I promise. Last part is I just brush it out with my fingers. Just to give it a little bit of texture, so you can see the difference. It's just a little bit more ringlet over here, and then when you brush it out, it's like a softer look. That's it, that's it. And a good way to keep your curls is don't touch them, don't touch your hair. Like, just leave it. That's it. That is it guys, you can spray with hairspray if you really want to, but I don't. That's it, that's all I do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and let me know what you wanna see next.